Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1 GV Whiskey 1. Good vibrations. Here to describe for you an antenna idea that just popped into that gray matter between my ears. A random loop antenna. It's a horizontal loop, and this is a top view of the antenna. It uses a parallel wire line, such as ladder line, that goes to a transmatch. This ladder line can be any length. The circumference of the loop should be two wavelengths or more, so you would want to make it a very large loop. The fact that it's horizontal would require that. If it were a vertical loop, the maximum radiation and response would be straight up. You wouldn't want that necessarily, would you? But uh, y you could increase the wavelength or the length of the loop to two wavelengths or more on the lowest band you intend to use. Now that's going to get pretty long. You can do the calculations yourself. But at frequencies where the wavelength is greater than or equal to two wavelengths, you can operate this antenna at any frequency you want, provided that you have a tuner that can handle the variable impedances that you will see at the feed point and at the point where you tune the antenna. You shouldn't need you shouldn't ground the antenna anywhere near the antenna the ground is at the station and uh, it's a standard station ground uh, the idea here is just to make it a, a sort of a funky antenna if you have a lot of real estate and preferably flat real estate such as you might encounter in many parts of South Dakota, North Dakota, Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, etc., etc. And then, um, it, if you live on a farm or a ranch, that would be the ideal scenario. And you get this thing up as high as you can above the ground. Again, this is a top view of the antenna. And then you just take it from there. It's uh, the radiation pattern. Uh, I'm not even going to try to figure out what that might be. It's just an idea, just something to try. If you have a lot of good wire, a lot of real estate, a good transmatch designed preferably to tune a uh, parallel wire line, and a good uh, company to get that transmatch from is called Palstar. They sell a true balanced antenna tuner. The old Viking, uh, Johnson Viking matchboxes will do that, although they cover uh, only a limited number of bands. Some transmatches will use ballon coils in order to simulate the idea that you're getting a balanced output from your transmatch. But the problem is that the SWR here at the feed point might be very high indeed. It might be ve uh, on the order of 10 to 1 in some cases. And if you try to operate a transmatch with a ballon coil located at the output, you're going to get into problems. They're not designed to do that. Trans uh, Trans er, uh, ballon coils are meant to be operated at the impedances, the input and output impedances, purely resistive, for which they are designed. 4 to 1, for example, 300 ohms balanced to 75 ohm unbalanced, or 200 ohm balanced to uh, 100 ohm unbalanced, without any reactants. So stay away from those kinds of transmatches for best results. Get a true balanced 
transmatch and it's going to have to be a, a tunable transmatch uh, automatic antenna tuners won't work here you, you locate the transmatch in your station adequate lightning protection is mandatory with a huge antenna like this I'd recommend disconnecting the antenna and grounding it uh, away from the station so that it so that if lightning does happen to hit the antenna or create a large electrostatic pulse in the antenna that you will not have any damage to your station and your house won't burn down and other bad things like that might not happen. Your antenna might get vaporized uh, but wire is relatively cheap, right? Uh, although this wire could be hundreds of meters long, possibly even uh, a mile or so. The ideal shape for such an antenna would be a circle. Next best would be a square. Uh, you don't want to make it too elongated. And uh, take it from there. Play with it. Have fun with it. That's the whole idea of ham radio. And for God's sakes, use CW so that when I say 73, I can say da da di di dit, di 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 da da. And when I say so long, I can say di 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 da di da.